What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode we're going to be talking about how to organize your symbol library in Sketch for Mac. Symbols are one of the most amazing features in Sketch. To be able to create an asset or a UI element and then turn it into a symbol and reuse it and iterate it and have it all just kind of change across your entire design, it's amazing. I just love that so much. But they can be a little bit messy if you've ever used them and you've dragged designs from one design into another or if you have even had some hiccups where you duplicated things and you look at your layers panel and it looks all sorts of funky or maybe there's just no sort of rhyme or reason or structure to it you got duplicates and you got things that are a little bit off over here man that can be really frustrating and there's nothing better than opening up a design file and having everything you need nicely organized and ready to start producing and making things. There's three important factors to keeping a really nicely organized sketch symbol library. Number one, know how symbols work. Side note, I'm using a really awesome design that I downloaded from a designer named Ayush Jangra. If I murdered your name, I'm so sorry, but you can find this designer on Dribbble. Um, check his workouts, really great. If you just toggle your pages panel open, you'll see you have one page, and Sketch always creates a symbol page for you the moment you create your first symbol. This is where all of your symbols live, and so this person has a bunch of icons that he can reuse, he's got like a tint for the background, and I went ahead and created a couple different symbols out of these tags that he has going on up here. So we have a page and we have a symbols layer. That's the first thing to know about how symbols work. They all exist on one page, a special symbols page that Sketch is always gonna send symbols to. Second thing to note, if you take an element, like let's say for instance, I wanna take this button right here. This is the, the favorite button or something like that. Um, I'm gonna click the create symbol button up here. The name that I'm about to give this symbol is the name that's used organizationally throughout the rest of the project. You can change it later, but it's important to note that if I'm gonna call this favorite button right here, that that's, that's what I wanna call it, okay? So, okay, I press okay, and now you can see when I open up, now I have a new layer in my, in my symbols panel called fave button, and of course, if I wanted to put a new fave button down, I can just slap one down like this. Symbols also work in the way that they are iterative, okay? So I can come back to the symbols page and if I wanted to change the color of this to like a really obnoxious red and I go back, all the symbols on my page that are that symbol have changed, okay? That's how symbols work. You make them, they sit inside of that special symbols page. When you want to access them, they're in the symbols, kind of like drop down, and that's it. That's number one. First thing to know about this process is how symbols work. That's how they work. The second way to organize your symbol library is to actually organize them and categorize them as you're going along. Now, this sounds like a lot of work, but as you're designing, it's recommended that you keep things organized as you go. Here's a little side note, side tip. Don't start organizing your symbol library before you have your design kind of cooking in a good flow, in a good momentum. You don't want to spend so much time designing a design system before you have a design. It hinders your creativity. And so you have your wireframe or you have your ideas, start making stuff, but once you get like maybe one screen built that has some consistent elements to it and you're feeling a good rhythm, immediately start organizing so you can utilize those elements in your next screens that you're creating. Once you do have your design going, you want to start organizing your symbols. Here's how you do it. Um, what I really love is I love to see kind of consistent categories up here and all of that has to do with your naming convention, okay? And so I want, I have a bunch of icons, like I have this down icon, this left arrow icon. All of those are technically icons and I really want those to be organized in a good way. So I'm gonna go to my symbols page, okay? And I'm just gonna zoom out and I'm gonna zoom over here to my icons and you can see I have, here's a right arrow, okay? To organize these, it's as simple as renaming them in some sort of consistent pattern. Whatever you do, make sure it's a consistent pattern, whether it's camel case, uppercase, hyphens, underscores, you figure out the way you do it. So this person has hyphens kind of already going here when he says right arrow. So I'm just gonna kind of cruise with that system and I'm gonna create kind of a precursor or I'm gonna prepend like a category in Sketch using a name and then a slash, okay? So I'm gonna put icons 
and I'm gonna slash right there, okay? And I'm gonna do that to all of my icons. So I prepended the word icons and then a forward slash, and then you can see each one of them have a lowercase name with hyphens included. But now when I go back to my page and I drop down my symbols list, I can see I have all these icons and I have all the icons I need. That's really, really nice. So that's the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go through, you wanna organize all of your symbols so and categorize them so that you have them in these kind of like nice categories. You decide how you wanna categorize your file into interface elements or certain styles of components or you wanna organize them by color or whatever. Just organizing them in some way that makes sense to you and or your team is gonna help production and help the workflow out so much. The third way that we're gonna organize our symbol library is by using some amazing plugins and helping us to actually rearrange and strip out all the unused stuff. Let's do that. So let's talk about the first one, is I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to merge duplicate symbols. This is really, really great. This is a newer plugin that was just recently released. Merge duplicate symbols is gonna do something really amazing. You can see I have some duplicate symbols down here. Okay, so if you have you know, similarly named items that you want to kind of merge and figure out which one actually belongs, go ahead and just go to your symbols page, rename them all to the same thing that you want, and then drop into your plugins and hit merge duplicate symbols. It's gonna bring up this amazing interface that asks you which one is the right thing, okay? It also tells you how many instances there are of that to help you kind of weigh it out. Like, oh, I have way more of that. I, you can see I have 50% of my design is using this instance. So you know what, I'm gonna click on that one. That's the one I wanna keep. And I wanna go ahead and merge all of them into that one, okay? And so now you can see out on my page, the, the symbols that I had that used to be something else, right? They used to be those weird, awkward colors. They're all the right symbol now. <sighs> Amazing. When you look into our drop down, you go to buttons. There's just that one fav button. Merge duplicate symbols. Bah, 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 bah. You just blew my mind. You're amazing. So when you kick over to your symbols page, you can see we have everything organized as far as the naming convention goes. And that's really, really nice. But if you're like me and your OCD kicks in, it's not actually alphabetical right now. And so that kind of frustrates me. And so the next thing we want to do is go up to our plugins and we want to go to symbol organizer and we want to configure the symbol organizer. This is another amazing plugin that's just gonna help you organize the symbols page so you can make sense of it, okay? And so you can see we have, uh, you're gonna leave this piece alone for the most part. Then we're gonna, uh, we can create some group titles if we want. We don't really need to do that. Actually, let's do it for fun. And then we're gonna lay out our symbols on our symbol page in a really, really nice way. By default, Sketch just kind of slaps your symbols in a horizontal line going this way. If that's not your jam, you can go vertical instead. And then we're gonna tell it how much space we want to be within each symbol, vertical and horizontal. All right, we're gonna press OK. And what it's gonna do is, it's just gonna organize that spread out little thing you had going on there into this nice, organized little section. And you can see above it, it's created a little section of titles for me. Right, it's put them right above each section. It's locked even that titles uh, folder for me. And underneath, it's put all of them going horizontally and then vertically. So we have buttons and then all of your buttons going vertically. Then you have icons and all your icons going vertically. Amazing, we love that so much. There's some other really cool things you could do with Symbol Organizer, and one of them is to remove unused symbols on the current page, okay? Symbols which are nested, it says, in other symbols or used as overrides will not be removed, okay? So it's not gonna mess with your overrides. That's really, really good to know. But if it's just some sort of symbol sitting out there in space and it's not getting used, you can make it actually go through and remove all of those for you. Now you gotta be careful with this one because it might be a symbol you're just not currently using, but that kind of is counterintuitive to the whole purpose of symbols. You should be using every symbol that you have, and if you're not using it, why is it a symbol? Just a little bit of logic, use that for you, okay? But you can click this, and we're, what we're gonna see is when I click it, it's gonna reorganize all my symbols, and it's gonna say, you know what? you, it completely removed four symbols. You're not using that background tint, you weren't using that button, you weren't using a few of the other things, so we got rid of them, okay? Uh, we can undo it if you want, 
but it got rid of a couple of the icons and so on and so forth. So that's something you can do as well. But now, you know, we just have like a really nicely organized kind of system out here and we go to our symbols page, they're all alphabetical here as well. The next plugin you might want to use if you're really OCD is to organize your symbols alphabetically on the symbols page. To do that, I use a plugin called Sort Me. Okay, and so you can just come in while you're on the symbols page, download and install Sort Me and then run over here and you can just click Sort Me and it is trying to sort. You want to grab all of the layers first, excuse me, Sort Me and then 13 objects have been sorted. You can see it's running from alphabetically in the wrong way. So we can go to the other one actually. There we go. And now we have it sorted alphabetically. So we have buttons, we have icons, we have tags. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, man, it just goes alphabetically. Well, that's it. Those are my tips and my tricks for organizing your symbol library and bringing a little bit of sanity back to your sketch life. I really hope you enjoyed the video tutorial. If you did, maybe think about liking this video and subscribing to the channel. I like to do lots of videos about design and development and sketch, just like this one. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. And if you are interested in the work of the designer that I used on this project, make sure to check out the link inside of the description and go give him some props. I hope you guys are making amazing things. I hope you're designing amazing things and I hope you're staying organized. See you next time.